out here in Joshua Tree National Forest with Mel. Checking out the first cloudy day I've been here. Overcast and a lot of fog. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good day. Different parts of the trail have these rocks marked in it, but they're not all lined pretty well. You'll also see some posts sticking up out of the ground like this one up here, but they get buried or knocked over too, so keep your eye out. Here's one of the information signs you'll find along the trails. Check them out because they have information about plants, animals, and other things of the area. This one is directly in front of the plan it's describing. Today I'm doing the Mastodon Peak Loop. It's a 2.1 mile hike, got a 400 foot elevation gain, and halfway through there's an old abandoned gold mine that they're rebuilding. Pretty neat, you should check it out if you come. As a kid I used to love days like this. So pretty and cool, the mist made it really eerie, but it really gave a awesome vibe. Coming up here to Joshua Tree just reminds me of those days. Video doesn't do this view justice but it would have been the perfect spot for lunch. I wish I came to Joshua Tree as a kid. It's only the second time I've gone on a hike, and the first one was really short, but there's so much to see. There's no way you can do it once to see everything. When I go hiking, it's because I want to do something where it's pretty while I'm working out. But when I'm out to actually take pictures, I try and make a mental note, slow down, walk slower, give myself the extra time to get there. Taking pictures, you really need to slow down and stop to see what you're looking at. But just remember, take, take the time, sit down, look at the area like you're about to draw it, because you notice a lot more. Here I am, I arrived at the mine in Joshua Tree, the grueling mile hike, not too much, and it's pretty sick. My cousin and I always used to go to old ghost towns and mining towns. Always used to see this stuff as kids and thought it was cool, but man, I love it now. He's the first one to tell you, he will do whatever it takes to get to mine. Gold Town, Bandon Town, Ghost Town. He really loves it. I like it a lot too. I'm more of just the outdoors person. Look at all that outdoors. Walking down the mountain now. It's been a great hike. I know I'm gonna get some more pictures, but coming down from all of that, I'm going down into a valley now. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but I'm definitely coming back here and you should too. 
if you're going to come to Joshua Tree National Park, you need to plan on the hike because you can see some stuff on the road, but you got to get on that hike. We're coming down now, maybe halfway down the mountain. Check it out. We're going to be going down into this stuff here. Much easier than going up here. I'm looking forward to it. Well, we've reached the end of our trip to Joshua Tree. I hope you join me next time. I'll be showing you more places I go and the type of stuff I look for when I'm taking pictures. Mm -hmm.